Church is in the building. The harvest is in the building. Bermuda is in the building. And Jesus Saint and all the saints. There's too many saints to me. The Caribbean got more saints than the Catholic Church. So big up if you come from a saint, just big up yourself. Go on. Said Lucia. Said Vincent. Send everybody. <laughs> All my Haitians make some noise. Yeah. I, don't make, I don't make jokes about Haitians no more. Y'all safe tonight. Because you know like how God is real, but you never saw him? But you know he real? That's how it is with Haitians and Poole. <laughs> Shit is real as hell. I'm trying to tell you, my boy, my boy was sleeping with this girl and he was like, yeah, I think I found the right one, bro. We're going to get married as soon as she get divorced. Like, I don't think that's the right one, bro. He was like, no, nah, we good. I'm, I'm, uh, it's, uh, uh, her husband is a patient. I was like, I think you should leave that situation alone, bro. I'm not scared of that fucking Haitian dude. Fuck him. I said, all right. Today he wears a size 11 on this side and a size 8 on this side. And we're just like this. Huh? I love Trinidadians. They are the most irresponsible motherfuckers on the face of this earth. You know how much, you know how much Trinidadians on this boat that ain't paying their rent this month? I mean, like, but fuck that. Fuck that. What are we doing? You know what? Fuck that, but I'm going to fuck that. I just believe in having fun though. I don't care. It's fun. I don't give a shit. You know how much people in here right now that they costume since March? For next year, they don't even know they're gonna be alive. Oh god, I got my ticket out of here. And you know Trinidadians take off from like October. If they work in the States, they'll take off in October. In February. Like, down here, oh boy. Let me tell you something. If a Trinidadian start a sentence on with, with these two words, any two lines like this, if he, if he started off and go, down here, oh boy, go. <laughs> if you say, hey, oh boy, go, something ain't coming good right after that. <laughs> it ain't gonna be good. A Trinidadian is always act like they got a secret, but everybody know it. Who say I say? Well, you know this book is called the Kangaroos. Everybody knows that. Right? I'm a secret. Don't just go say I say. Shout out to everybody who loves soca music. If you love soca music, make some noise. Soca music is the official I don't give a fuck music. Everybody on here got problems and stress and whatever, but when you listen to that soca music, it'll be like, fuck all of that shit. And that's why I gotta be like artists like Kerwin Dubois in the building. Young Voice in the building. Teddy St. John, Liverpool. True, skinny, fabulous, rupee. Big up to all the artists that's on the boat. Big up Destro. 
But she's from our birds and we want to hear. We up to all of y'all because that's the music that we that we look forward to when we got our problems. So y'all gotta support them heavy. When you see them support, because they help us every day. Yeah, I'm gonna take 20 of us on all of them. No, but seriously, I never heard like a sad soca music. I never heard that before. First of all, the beat is too fucking fast. There's no way you're gonna sing something like, my man, I just did. You're not gonna hear that shit. You're not gonna fucking hear that. You're gonna hear shit like, from the wake up this morning. That is the stupidest fucking song I've ever heard in my life. Pick up my brother's voice. Because it's very inspiring. But you see when you work hard, and you telling me, I wake it up 6 o'clock to go to work. And you telling this cunt, that sit down whole fucking day in house because he wake up he's going up. Fuck you. He's not going to fucking win up. He's a cunt. He's a bum. Win away. He's a winner. So you don't need no high school diploma here. You can walk around, dance like a bat. You can walk around and have gonorrhea and all kinds of fucking things. And it's a winner. Fuck that, I wake up, fuck that. What are you doing today, nothing? Are you wake up? Are you awake right now? I'm fucking, I'm awake. How much men dead want my spot? Every time I have sex. <laughs> I was in the street by the time I found a little bit of second around. <laughs> Very inspirational fellow. <laughs> All my Jamaicans make some noise.
But sober parties are some of the best parties you could ever go to. I don't care what culture you come from, if you go to a sober party, you must enjoy yourself. Because they just have fun. That's just what it's about. That's what it's about. You ever see a, a trendy dude, like a soca dude, walk in a party with his girl? He will walk in the party and be like, damn, how much I go in that party? Forty dollars, forty dollars, that yet? <laughs> he will pay that forty dollars and look at his wife and be like, yes, I'm gonna see that for a couple of <laughs> And this girl will be over there dancing with some dude. He'll be over here dancing with some girl and every couple of minutes they'll be like, having fun, but they know they're going all together. They don't have to worry about it. That shit don't happen at no Jamaican party, huh? Jamaican dude walk in the party with his girl, first of all, he's going to have with his tight pants, his long shoes. And he's going to stand in front of the door, he's going to be like, oh, I should come to that party. And he's like, $40. He's like, Forty what? U.S.? Oh, in the cartel in there? The big people at the soccer parties, when they hear that accent come up, they're like, oh boy. So when he paid, because he going to pay that $20. Because he already bought that outfit, he's lit. He just want to make a scene, because that's what Jamaicans do. Make a scene everywhere. That's how they give it up. You go to the big party store and be like, I'm gonna make my party the fat like team. <laughs> you gotta make a scene everywhere. That's what they do. <laughs> Don't ever order no food before a Jamaican dude. Let him go in front of you. Because he'll be like, yo, so I'll even get so much oxygen. I'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 Ladies that work in the uh, Jamaican stores always got an attitude. Oh, no. I hope there's some of y'all that work in here that stay around. They, be, they face me already like this before you even act anything. Yeah. Yeah. You be scared to order and shit. Is it alright if I have a go? Man, I'm back. Uh, you got fried chicken. You don't have that right now. So what you have? Free the bum buck out there. And don't you dare ask for fucking oxtail gravy. Don't do that. You put a little gravy on the rice gravy. That PF gravy. Yes. Every, every girl 
girl crew got that one girl that just don't like nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they all be chilling and shit. That one girl for one. Give her high five. Why you don't like just, just, just something more time. <laughs> Every girl that walk up, they got a problem with that shit. Next girl walk up. How about you, man? I never leave about the five dollars. <laughs> It's five dollars, it's five dollars, I'm gonna give you how many of them. They need it. They just don't like nobody and shit. Trini ladies, I'm gonna tell you right now. Yes. If you get into an argument with a Jamaican lady, please just, just walk away. Oh, no. no, really and truly, like, I was on Flatbush the other day and a Trini lady and a Jamaican lady was arguing. And the, the, the Trini lady couldn't win. Because, I mean, when Trini people cuss, right? Even though they cursing you out, if you're not Trini, it sounds sweet. That should have turned you the fuck off. <laughs> well, your mother finds it. That should sound nice. Like, you hear that shit? Like, and these girls was arguing, I don't know what they was arguing about, but she was just like, Stop it, Jimmy, man, fuck it, stop it, y'all. Now you're a mother hands. And the Jamaican lady was just like, Listen to me. Why are you alone before me? Gone your own kid. And I was just like, Oh. I wanted to walk over and tell the Trini lady, let me walk, just walk she out there, walk she out. But I couldn't get involved. And I think the Trini lady thought that the Jamaican lady was like the weak fence, you know? Because every time she cursed her out, like the, the, the Jamaican lady was just like, I better you go with your boy your business, you know? And she was like, go my business, fuck you, all your mother stupid. Jamaican lady was like, I the last time I ever tell you anything. If I write no yagi pan top of my nerves. And the, the Trinity lady was like, You can't even talk. You can't even fucking talk. I know how I can get on top of your fucking nerves. How? How? How are you gonna pass? And the Jamaican lady turned around and said, Listen, don't tip a lot like that. You know what you need to do? Come suck on the pussy now. Come suck me out. The Jamaican lady was like, I don't have time for this. The Jamaican lady followed her like two blocks. Come down there, don't kick down, stop it, stop it. The trigger lady was like, could you fucking leave me at home, call the police or not? Music is fake calypso. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm 
Hundred seconds. Hundred seconds. Hundred seconds. No, daggering music is like when you climb up here and like you jump off onto a girl. There's no whining involved in that. Stop out. And the dudes that be listening to like daggering music, they don't even ask to dance no more. You ever notice that? You be dancing with your friend and just, nigga just be like sizing you up. Nigga size you up from like across the floor. You ever saw that? You size you up and be like. And you be sitting there minding your business like, yeah, because you know, oh shit. Stop up and take money. Shit's like a mild break. <laughs> but dance song music is like, you know, I, 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 I love my era of, you know, where I was raised and shit. I think we got the best era in the world. Because, you know, we had our parents' music. You know, we listened to like some old school soca. And we'd be able to sing that shit line for line, even though we was like 10. Ten years old, you'd be walking around the house, the nightly black man just feels the fire. 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 And that's when your mother gonna come and say, I hope you know your fucking book, I know you're your son.
combination is different. Like some of my, my favorite artists, like Jack Cure is one of my favorite artists. Jack Cure is the shit. Like he used to be the shit. Yeah. Kind of switched it up on us now. Last last video I saw Jack Cure in. He didn't have on no shirt and shit. You'll never find you're in his lifetime to let me find you. What the fuck was wrong with the Russ? Before he was singing shit like, run, come love me tonight. You know what I'm saying? To divide and rule had you feeling good. Now he's singing some shit like, never see it coming. Next thing you know, <laughs> that's the breakup king right there, boy. You going through some shit, put some jockey on, boy, for an hour. You be like, fuck that nigga. Never saw it coming, nigga. Unconditional, nigga. Are you dumb? hard to break up with a girl from New York. If you don't even know what to expect and shit. You gotta text her. Yeah, it's not gonna work out, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> you try to break up with her in person, she'd be like, dead ass, you dead ass. You dead ass. Say word to your mother, say word to your mother. I was there through all the bullshit when your ass was broke. Now you trying to, I should. Down to the thuggest nigga be like, you better stop playing. Boy, what's so up? All right, all right. Trying to play me in front of my mans, huh? <laughs> like, even like Jack Yo and shit. Jack Yo was one of my favorite, I mean, not, not Jack Yo, I'm sorry. Egyptian. That was one of my favorite singers. Until I went to his last concert. His pants was mad tight. Twisted his locks up and shit. Like, I don't think Rasta's supposed to do that. Like, like use coconut oil and shit. I thought it was just supposed to be just like dirt and hair. It's not what it's supposed to be. Not supposed to be like mud. Like, up up here in the river. <laughs> well, let's ask a real roster, literal. <laughs> literal. Oh, how it's supposed to be? As a real roster man, talk to me. You're not a real roster. <laughs> Use that roster for I, use roster for you. <laughs> Egyptian shit got a little different. He was feeling himself up on stage. He was just on stage like <laughs> But I was watching Pornhub or some shit. Seconds of the song will be so nice, and it just turned into some other shit. Never heard that. <laughs> like it'll start so nice, and he'd be like, "Anyway, you know, I'm in love with you. Me need another life. 
Master DJ. All right, we're going to leave it right here. All the people is in there like, what movie? Please was in there. I had to look up that one. What name of your movie? The name Long Run Short Catch. <laughs> Starring Freeze. <laughs> Come and take a quick break, right? And get a glass of water. And I'm going to bring out special guest that I got to throw on. Who? Alright, we're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see what techniques here. MC, you change and bring out clothes now? Your wife here? You sure? Somebody tell you to bring out clothes. Like you wasn't getting enough swing on. He wasn't getting enough pelt action. <laughs> Not everybody could do that to me. <laughs> and he's an Indian too. <laughs> <laughs> I just played, I just played. I, just, I don't know nothing about your story yet. Eh? So I, <laughs> I'm going to take this quick break, y'all. Um, he's going to take over. And then we're going to bring all the special guests, right? Nice. Yo, give it up for the man, Major Hyde! 